You guys remember Don Charles? Yeah. yeah. They just loved him too. They, they took me and I told him they took me. He, took was, he was the, the 14th grandchild or whatever. They 17th, took, I lost They right. took me in the summer of 92, I told them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 12 years ago. 12 years ago. And we would, Tom and I, would we be playing in here? And we would just follow. Charles would come in at 7 in the morning. Tom and I would be in here, sober, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be, what the hell? No. <laughs> you raggedy, you raggedy muffins. Yeah, I said, Charles, and no, no, we just got here. We got, got here early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben. Yeah. Tell us something about Jack now. Oh, Jack. Oh, man. Yeah, Jack was this, uh, I wrote this song for him. He was, he was one of those, you know, you get a couple of good teachers. Those are the ones that actually set your course in a way that, uh, almost, almost in a way that a parent does. So Jack Knapp was a teacher in uh, Claremont High School. And congratulations, everybody, because we all seemingly survived high school. <laughs> <laughs> We're all here. What's that? Where did Jack Knapp teach? He taught history. But more than teaching history, right. he taught the present like no other. Mm. I wonder. Look back to how my grandparents loved him, though. They loved him. Oh, it was so. And you know, I remember once I had that summer job where I was like digging holes at the Grove. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a, it was a, they called it a garden. They called it gardening, but it was pretty. It was like replanting palm trees. It was, it was really hard. <laughs> and, and, uh, it was gnarly. And uh, I remember trying to leave in the morning and Dot would be like, "Get back in here!" You know, she would cook me some. Um, she'd make sure I left with some banana bread or something. It was very sweet. She was getting upset. You oh, no, can't. She started. To feed you can't leave out. Once yeah. she started yeah. feeding Tom daily. <laughs> 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 you can't you go to work, work without eating. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. needed somebody to feed at all times. You know, it, was oh. it was so big. And I, what made me think of my grandmother is because we're talking so much, and I'm sure my mom, I'm also channeling my mom and my grandmother. There's like, you know how you can genetically read minds and spirits. And I can hear my mother going, stop talking and start playing. Because <laughs> that's what my grandmother would have been <laughs> And I've got to get, we got to reminisce. This is our shit. This is our shit. This is our shit. Tom this told a grandmother story. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, that's right. That's right. 105? Yes, I told, her, I told her story. Yes. Uh, when she was 95. Yeah. Only 95. Yeah. 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 Y
I will share my wealth with all of humankind. And I felt pleasure. And I felt pain. And I know now I can never be the same. So when some sun does shine or rain does fall I give thanks I've had my sight to see through it all